Secondly, let's think about what was called the Midas trial. And conceptually, this was, I think, very impactful in the way we think about multiple myeloma. In a lot of the work and the research we do at the IMF, we've been studying this concept of MRD or minimal residual disease, basically a test that looks for tiny amounts of myeloma that may be left, even if the blood tests are normal and even if the marrow tests look quite normal. Because we know if we can eradicate myeloma down to that tiny bit and, and where we can't even measure it anymore, patients are likely going to do better. And so what the Midas study did is they took patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma and they treated them with the four drug combination of esetuximab or sarclisa plus carfilzomib, revlimid and dexamethasone. And after giving them their initial therapy, they determined were they MRD negative or are they MRD positive? Meaning, is there no measurement of disease left or is there still some measurement of disease? And then those groups were randomized to two different strategies. Those who are MRD negative were randomized either to just get more ESA-KRD or get ESA-KRD plus a transplant. And interestingly, although the results are early, there didn't seem to be a difference between those two strategies, meaning that maybe we don't have to treat someone with a transplant if they're already MRD negative. Now, again, I don't wanna make that big decision just yet, but it's showing to us that that may be one of the ways that we can use MRD to guide our treatment. 